Брюс Ли и Морта. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. How about some Bruce Buffett? Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now. Go back to your point. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Circling to his right. Oh, and he caught the kick. Boy, Ty Plump. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chopping down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. And they separate. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Jab hurt him a little bit. Can't take many of those, you better check. Both guys landing with conviction now. Shoot right here. Sneaky head kick. Nice punch here. Oh, single collar tie here. Then he comes through with a big knee. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Ooh. Big knee. Oh! Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Liver kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Single collar tie now. He lands a big knee to the body. 
Leg kick. Big first man on the side. I was gonna follow this one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Back and forth we go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. An outstanding kick there by Lee. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, here, final seconds of round one. He's back in the position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. Let it go. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. That's right. He was all over you. He did better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big call for punch man. Now we get back to range. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. Oh, that left thigh now really starting to swell. Nice one, two there. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Visibly limping here. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Great punch landed with so much power. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Line. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, the thunderous leg kick only flipped it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. 
Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, single collar tie now. And he connects there with a the punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And they separate. Oh, huge block! We're trying to kick the leg out. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ball collar tie. Big knee lands right from the opponent's midsection. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Let's get back out here and work on that. Cut. The slice broke and good. There's a lot of blood. Can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish. Of All right, DC, here we go with our next round. Ready? It wasn't just the accuracy, Ready? it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch. Him be so active, the cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Takedown defense holds up. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Big head kick lands. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. He blocks the clutch. Nice punch, man. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. 
Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, single collar tie here. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Able to check the high kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Back and forth we go. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He lands a switch knee. Oh, that's a nice strike. Battle for position here. Nice one, two there. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you've got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, has the guard closed here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's got off right now. Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching. Home and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. throwing heat now. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. And they separate. Check these low leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knees right into his opponent's midsection. Relax, relax. Keep your hands on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Right hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
good punch. Nice leg kick. Oh, countered nicely there with a beautifully timed uppercut. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be.